Hello and welcome to our beautiful distillery uh, Monkey in a Bottle, where we are producing uh, mainly gin. My name is Sean Hachler and I'm happy to tell you something about our distillery. So, uh, yes, uh, it is forbidden, so you need to have a license to distill in Switzerland, but however, there is uh, a lot of black distilleries here in Switzerland who are still doing uh, absinthe. Uh, but yes, to answer your question correctly, we need to have a license in order to produce. Uh, well, from the moment we started to ask for permission, it, it, took the, it did take exactly three months. So, uh, uh, and it was an extremely annoying process because you need to go uh, through a lot of steps and not everyone gets a license in Switzerland. It's uh, still vodka, so uh, I think since the 70s uh, vodka is the most drink beverage all over the world, so also in Switzerland is still vodka. Uh, second it's uh, gin and third is whiskey in those days. It's uh, still vodka, so it's not also that vodka is the most drink beverage but also the most produced beverage. But however, uh, in gin, uh, every year we have a growth of approximately 30 to 40 percent, depending the year. But uh, still, extremely growing gin in Switzerland. So the, the name Monkey in a Bottle, because a lot of people are asking us all the time, because there is also another famous brand having the name Monkey in uh, in, in their gin. But however, our gin is called because we are using the fruit of the baobab tree, which is also called Monkey Tree, and it's the monkey fruit. So actually, in all the gins we are doing, we are using the uh, monkey fruit, the monkey powder. So that's the reason our gin is called monkey in a bottle, because whatever we are doing, even in the absinthe that we are doing, there's just a, a prise of monkey powder. Uh, that's because my brother and myself, we are having a huge arrogance and we don't like to stop with number one. So for sure, we will sell more or buy more uh, distills. Yeah, that's the reason why. Well, actually, it's, uh, it's that one. It's uh, the London Drive, what everyone, everything started uh, when, when we started two years ago. It's still the most sold and the uh, gin, and it's also the gin we, we got the most uh, medals in competitions. For example, exactly with that distill, we won uh, the competition last year, the World Championship. In, in, so we are World Gin Gold Medal winners with, with that gin. So that for sure is the most sold gin we are having. So the, the, that's the second uh, best sold gin. It's, uh, it's a, com a contemporary gin, so a, a classical New Western gin. So you just have a slight so juniper in it, but it's mostly fruity. So that's the second sold one. And the third one is uh, the Old Tom, so classical Old Tom. So there's a sugar in it. And the speciality with our Old Tom is that it's barrel aged between four to six months. So we are having three gins in our portfolio, what we are producing all the time. On top, we are having some special um, gins we are doing twice a year. So for example, we did for Christmas, we did the glue gin. Uh, so it's a typical thing we are doing here in Switzerland. So we are doing gin and you add hot um, apple juice in it. So it's called glue gin. So that, for example, we did a coffee gin last year. Um, we are having now a 12 month barrel gin we are producing. Uh, we are doing a navy strength that year as well. Then for all the ones who supported us to buy the distiller, we are doing a distiller's cut. And the both of us, my brother-in-law, myself, we love to, yeah, to be alchemists and to produce things no one else is doing. And the distillery you're having, it's perfect for that. <laughs> That's, uh, sorry if I'm laughing, because we started with 100 bottles because I, I, did, health, I did have health issues. I went to my brother-in-law and said, 100 bottles, sorry, I'm looking there because he's standing there. And uh, now, meanwhile, in the second year we did, not the first year we did uh, 5,000, the second year last year we ended with uh, 11,000 bottles, almost 12,000 bottles, and for that year we are expecting 14,000 bottles. We are starting 4 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, so that normally my brother-in-law is doing because he's the early bird. I, I am drinking too much, so I need to sleep more. Um, then with one run we are doing um, 70 liters with 75 uh, alcohol coming out. We are running two, so at the end we are having exactly at the end of the day we are having exactly 500 bottles. We can run with that. So with ease you can do uh, 500 bottles per day, 33 volume. Yeah. 
So when we are starting four o'clock, the first drop comes out exactly two hours later at uh, 83 degrees. So uh, when we reach 83 degrees, uh, all the time it's ex extremely exact. So you can really uh, be sure that that will be the case. So exactly two hours from the moment we are starting until the first drop is running out, it's exactly two hours. So we are extremely happy with uh, the distillery. So uh, at the beginning, you need to know when before you start, you don't know what kind of distill you, you like to buy. And uh, we did ask several uh, producers to give us an offer, etc. But the only one to really answer us a lot of questions was actually uh, Des Distillery. So uh, at the end, it was really that we did have a good feeling from the beginning with, with that very company. And yeah, we didn't get disappointed, of course. There are also thing, always things you can think it's better, but with this very distill, we won gold, so what else do you want to have?